The college football playoff semis gave us everything we could have asked for. A huge upset in the Verbo Fiesta Bowl with TCU taking down Michigan 51-45. to And then in a game that came down to the very last seconds, Georgia took down Ohio State after a missed field goal 42-41 to in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So we will get Stetson Bennett and the Bulldogs going up against Max Duggan and the Horn Frogs for that championship crown next Monday. All right, let's uh, talk some college football with our friend, the mouth of the South, Paul Feinbaum. And Paul, I saw you this weekend in Atlanta. So let's start there. Were you more or less impressed with Georgia after their win on Saturday? Christine, I, I was impressed with Georgia because Ohio State played a, a near perfect game. Uh, there was one or two mistakes at the end, and, and I thought Ryan Day made a terrible call uh, in that final possession on first down. But other than that, it's it's the best game Ohio State has played this year. Marvin Harrison Jr. W was simply all world, and then he got hurt, couldn't come back in the game. And ultimately, those little things were the difference. Uh, Georgia defensively was out of sync. Uh, they, they were outmanned most of the game. But the most important thing for Georgia is Stetson Bennett. And in the fourth quarter, once again in the playoffs, he has come through as brilliantly as anyone in recent history. So there's a little bit of concern, but a lot to be happy with if you're a Georgia Bulldog fan. The, fa the fact that you survived, probably the best shot you're going to get. Yeah, I'll tell you guys, I, I wasn't impressed, and here's why. When I looked at the Georgia Bulldogs, right, the lack of pass rush between Jalen Carter and that defensive line really blew my mind. Also, that secondary who gave up 500 yards uh, in, in the air against the LSU Tigers in the SEC Championship kind of worried me going into this football game. Now, C.J. Stroud threw for 348, and the secondary is going to be an issue because when you look at TCU and how they play the game of football, one of their strengths is their wide receivers because they're four and five deep. Also, I have an issue with Todd Monkey, the offensive coordinator, and why Brock Bowers wasn't more of a point of emphasis for his team going into this football game. It, they, they started going to Brock Bowers a little bit too late for me uh, in, my, in those regards, but also two plays in this game I thought really decided this football game and helped Georgia win it. They were down 21-7, to and Arian Smith called a 47-yard um, a bomb against Eichenberg, the linebacker. Now, why Eichenberg was in that position, that's a story for another day. So you had that one play, and Georgia ended up scoring a touchdown on that play. They were down 11 late in that ball game. And for some reason, Jim Knowles decides to go man coverage with Ransom being the corner on the fastest receiver for the Georgia Bulldogs and Arian Smith. And that ended in a 76-yard touchdown. So when I'm looking at this game, I'm looking at the secondary, the lack of pass rush, also, I'm looking at how that defense did not show up to the, to the party when it came to the college football semifinals. Well, shoot, hearing you talk, Doug, Harry, like you would think that Georgia lost this game by three touchdowns. My goodness, man. Uh, the, the game, Kirby Smart's timeout on that fake punt that Ryan Day had dialed up saves the season. And Marvin Harrison going out of the game is, is a tremendous impact. But I was impressed by Georgia. You know, I called Georgia later on in the season, and I thought there were two teams that were at least firepower-wise capable of beating Georgia. One was USC because of Caleb, and then two was Ohio State, and it's because of their perimeter talent. C.J. Stroud, I think, lost up being the second quarterback taken in this year's NFL draft. But the beauty of Georgia was not blinking. Champion, down, playing against the team that was hot, and to Paul's point, basically playing a flawless game. And Stetson Bennett, for everything that wants to anybody, anybody wants to say, and the guy doesn't blink, man. He does not waver. And that's an impressive characteristic trait for a team that was very talented. And to your point here, I don't think they played a great game, and Ohio State was hot. But to figure out a way to win the football game is massive. And for your coach in that moment to be totally locked in and to get that timeout is a massive deal. So while you can sit there and credit the way that Ohio State played and the way that Ryan Day coached that football game, and understand that they're a very, very good program and football team. It, it, it's also We're also capable of sitting there being impressed by Georgia, finding a way to play that game when they were down 14 and their quarterback isn't one of the – isn't the most talented of the guys that are on the field. I, I was very impressed with them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.